Hi YouTube and welcome back. In today's video you will see what a professional trading actually is. Basically, we didn't take a single trade for two days. But sometimes you have to sit on your hands, so you gotta check out this video. Stay tuned. Good morning everybody and welcome back to Daily Market Daily Forex Market. Uh, technical analysis is the Tuesday, the February 19th. And no, I did not forget about the yesterday. I did not forget about Monday for everybody who are waiting. The thing is that I said in one of the previous videos that when the market is going to be slow, when there's not going to be any opportunity for me, uh, I'm not going to upload just a, you know empty video of me speaking in a channel going through markets without having actually anything on a radar and without having any uh, action in, in in general and with that being said yesterday we had nothing uh, yes I did uh, set up one of the price alarm but the price didn't even come to it and then I, I decided hey man there is no need for recording any video because yeah you're not gonna bring any value to people watching it it's just gonna spend their time and I don't want to do that uh, with that being said this is one of the things that I had on a radar yesterday when I came to the morning live uh, to more in morning analysis the uh, the this was already in because it got activated at Sunday and obviously I did not get engaged with it actually yesterday evening when I was doing my post post market thingy uh, I was expecting for this to uh, hit my would be stop loss and I can tell you why although I'm not trading this uh, this might even hit the you know the first star would be my first targets but why I thought that this might be uh, uh, hit my stop loss because I saw a flag here you see this this would be a flag this would be a pole and this would be a flag and then I would trade it down to the downside probably to retest this lows right there but as I'm not trading this, I don't know how to get engaged. I'm just checking out the markets in lifetime and seeing the patterns over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, so besides the flag, uh, I don't think there's anything else for me on this pair. Uh, I'm going to remove this because obviously we did not trade it. And I'm just going to wait for the price action to do, to do its own thing. And then we will see what's going to have happen. Aussie CAD, this is the pair that I had on the radar yesterday, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D completion up there, price did start rallying up to the to hit my, uh, to set up, you know, my alarm, price alarm, but the pentagoras are here, 30 pips away from it, and then it started, it, it found resistance, and then it started uh, rallying up, uh, down. Uh, besides this big bad, uh, inside of this X to A, oh, I don't know. I think there is nothing here. Let's let's see. Yeah, well, you you can X to A, A to B, B to C here, and then C to D there. But we will see what's the price action gonna do if it's gonna do something like it. Yes, I will find this as B lag X to A, A to B, B to C, and then we will see what's gonna happen with the D lag. Obviously, it needs to meet my other rules, which is it, it needs to go overbought or sold for me to take the bat on this pair. Uh, then moving forward. Uh, yeah, uh, yesterday nothing on this pair, nothing, this uh, price is moving, yeah, I, well, I don't see nothing here, Whew. yeah, so, we will see what the price will do, but for me, currently, I don't see any pat patterns that I backtested, so I cannot get engaged in any, in any opportunity right there, I don't know, will price go up or down. Euro dollar, same thing, nothing here for me. By the way, I am in process of finishing backtesting the cipher pattern, but I don't see a cipher here as well. So I will probably be adding ciphers on Euro dollar uh, starting next week. 
on the third week in uh, what is it February but for now there is nothing here I do see head and shoulders though this would be a uh, head left shoulder right shoulder uh, should be good uh, you know structure point and it's kind of going down so I do predict that this might go down I can do something like this break the break the neck of a head and shoulders and retest it and then move down but we will see what will price action do pound dollar nothing nothing just nothing just I don't know there's nothing here for me nothing that I can see right now that stands out so I'll just gonna skip it and pound yen uh, yep also nothing which brings us to the end of another Monday session another Tuesday daily market analysis and if nothing happens today again I'm saying this now but there is a chance that I won't be uploading this video at all yeah, that's it. But maybe I just uploaded it so for you guys to see that I'm sitting on my hands doing doing nothing and just waiting for the price action to come to me. I'm not chasing the markets. I'm waiting patiently uh, for price action to show me the opportunity that I know, that I can recognize, that I know the expectancy of, and then I can take advantage of it. Yeah, so hopefully see you so soon in the afternoon session. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back traders and to this afternoon session on what is it Tuesday Very slow day basically nothing on a radar The only thing I wanted to say here in this afternoon session. It just continues to be very boring Week in the market. It's second day without any opportunities for us But that's what trading actually is. sometimes you gotta see it in your hands We might get tomorrow. We might get triggered in this. Uh, what is it? Aussie cat bat if this here does not go over 100 periods and it did go so i won't be able to trade this uh anyway so i'm gonna close close the uh, alarm besides this there was just one opportunity today which i did not use solely because i still have to incorporate uh the, the back testings that i've done on the euro dollar cipher this here is cipher if i add the extension 27.2 you will see that it did go x to a a to b b to c and c the completion all the way here to 78 uh 78.6 fib level uh which is right there it, it is actually two pips below as you can see just give me a second uh 1357 so we gotta be 1336 Three seven. This would be our pending order, which to front running for two pips from the actual uh, would be pending orders. We would get triggered, and then after in one hour, in one hour only, we would get filled for both of our target. No, yes, we would get a fill for both of our targets here, making us essentially 18 pips, not 20 pips plus what is it? plus 11 pips which is 31 pips uh, would be a nice profit would definitely get us out of the drawdown but we are still not done with the uh, back testing I'm almost finished uh, otherwise I would be in this trade and and I would take a winner uh, nothing else on uh, pound dollar and on pound yen uh, we are no longer in bearish movement we are now in some kind of a re possible rotation or possible bull movement so far i'm gonna stay out until i see the opportunity to engage with that being said one more thing click that like button also make sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel and do post a comment post a question if you have something to ask me if i can help you out i do i try to respond as soon as possible if not it will take me probably maybe max up to 24 hours but you will get your answer and it also does help with youtube algorithm because then youtube see interaction see how fast i react and then ranks our video higher and higher and we get to help as many people as possible with that being said thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and speak to you soon bye bye